Clay in Europe and the UK. Welcome to your news at noon. It's Tuesday, 10th of August. This was our USA Today headline on Monday. Uh, US tops overall gold in Metalcom Tokyo. Thanks in part to women's dominance. I am proud to be from a country that really completely believes in equality for so many things, including sport. And hey, I walked to the top of that. I was up in that flame. But we've got great news like our new fairy tale collection. Absolutely popular. Shoot that QR code and send it around. Aruba is our incentive trip. Many of you are focused on that and you're sharing the park lane opportunity, which we love. You've got two bonus items this week you can continue to offer, as well as two thank you gifts that you can offer for every qualified host. New style drops that happened last week, the Lavender Ensemble. It's 30 with a 40 net order. And Collada Necklace, incredible piece, Rich Rewards Club Award previously. Fabulous products available for sale. Wilder is your new RRC award for 2,000 or more for the month. And to review, customers have these amazing style drops and two bonus items. Hosts, two Fast 50s, two thank you gifts. All leads to some amazing success, and that news is in your Style Boss news in your back office. We are at a five-week commission month in Europe and the UK. You've finished week two. All these specials continue next week. The last two weeks, really big news, and you'll see it about it on Thursday, but again, it doesn't start until the 17th next week. So exciting. And that takes us to some great performers. In week two of the August Commission Month, again, five weeks over in Europe and the UK, it took at least 615, I think, to get in the top 10. And that number 10 is stylist Gail Forrest from the Park Lane Stars. Number nine, Daphne Walls from the Stars. Number eight, Antonia Polito, all three stylists from the Park Lane Stars. Number seven, Mylene Baharent from BD Diamonds in Germany. Number six, Alona Bach from Park Lane Beanie Diamonds in Germany. Number five, Anne Griffiths from the Stars. Number four, Sonia Collis smith our number one stylist from the Park Lane Stars. Number three from the Park Lane Stars, Joe Keeble. She's getting out there virtually. Number two, Hazel Mortimer from the Park Lane Stars. And number one, at over 1,250 pound in this case, Debbie Matthew from the Park Lane Stars. Hey, if I seem to be moving quick, it's time for our one-minute training. And we've got a one-minute training. It's about four minutes. But wow, is it worth it. Trisha Edmondson was recognized for the month of July as number one in total personal volume company-wide for the July 2021 Commission Month. And her sales were phenomenal. In our international tradition of having our number one share of testimonial, uh, uh, she graciously agreed. Please enjoy Trisha with our one-minute training. Hey there, my name is Trisha Edmondson, and I'm here to talk with you just for a few minutes about some of my tips for success. So number one, I want you to commit to leveraging your leaders. One of the things I have noticed here at Park Lane is that knowledge abounds. We have phenomenal leaders at all levels of our company. So I really want you to plug in to your team. I want you to plug into the company. I want you to plug into all your available resources and soak up the knowledge like a sponge. Okay, I came in with over 10 years worth of experience. I hit the top level at my previous company, but I don't know it all. And there's lots still to learn. So I very much leverage the leaders that are above me and around me because you grow by who you know. I also want you to focus on being coachable because number one, no one person knows everything. So be coachable and don't be afraid to try new things. A lot of my personal success in sales has been from layering different um types of parties on to what I normally would do. I was a home party girl forever. So even doing Facebook parties is new to me, but layering different types of things, whether it's a 24 hour earring bracelet or necklace party or a social sale or 
whatever you want to do, but layer it on top and don't be afraid to try new things. Number two, I want you to really, really lean on and promote the programs. One of the key things for me coming over to Park Lane was the programs. Our hostess program, let's just talk about that. That is your number one tool towards booking parties. That is what I lead with when I'm talking to people about booking. I lead with the fact that my average hostess is going to get $400 in free. And if that doesn't get someone's attention, I don't know what will. So promote these amazing programs that we have. This hostess program should be something that you are screaming from the rooftops and that should keep your calendar full when you are leveraging that. I want you number three to be consistent and persistent. This is so important for success in whatever field you are in. Consistency is the most important thing in your business. So I really want you to strive to be consistent each and every month. I used to tell my team where I used to be in my former company that I would rather you be consistently good than occasionally awesome. And here's why. When somebody's occasionally awesome, they're popping in and out of their business and they may have a big month here, but then they've got two or three months that are down here. And that when you have a business like that, you are constantly losing momentum. It's like going up and down a hill. We want you to be coasting. And when you're consistent, whether it's consistently good or consistently awesome. But when you're consistent, you're going to have momentum and it's just all going to flow. Persistent, let's talk about that. I want you to be persistent in your goals, whatever they are. I want you to be persistent. I want you to not give up and I want you to chip, chip, chip away until you get there. Number four, I want you to be relentless relentless in the per in the pursuit of your goals. So I don't want you to pop in and out of your business like I discussed, and I don't want you to get lackadaisical with your business. I want you to be relentless. When you hear no, I want that to excite you. I want you to be motivated then to get a yes to replace that no. So when you're persistent and when you're relentless and you are just go, 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 with your business and you're excited and you have that momentum and you're leveraging your leaders and you're promoting your programs, success is going to follow.